Former Hollywood wild child Drew Barrymore has told being put psychiatric unit age 13 and divorcing her parents were the best things to ever happen to her. The Charlie's Angel star, shot to fame after starring in E.T. aged just 7, and in her teenage years she abused drink and drugs and began excessive partying. The actress, 46, was admitted to hospital where she spent 18 months and then divorced her mother aged 14, in doing so making her legally an adult Drew said she felt secure for the first time during her spell in the psychiatric unit. In an interview with You magazine she said, My mom put me there because she couldn't cope with me anymore but it was the best thing that happened to me. It taught me boundaries. Until that point, I had none. The actress also told how she feared she was letting her children Olive, 9, and Frankie, 7, down when she divorced their dad Will Copelman in 2016. She said, Divorce was my worst fear. It was something I never wanted to put my own children through. She claimed had to beg people for advice after having kids because she never had a role model. Drew said, I didn't have parents, I was the parent to them. It was all totally upside down. Previously the actress has spoken about having her first drink at 9, trying marijuana at 10 and taking up cocaine at 12. The Charlie's Angels star also previously recalled being locked up in a horrible institution for over a year and a half, and told how she is thankful for the structure and discipline the experience gave her. Speaking to The Guardian in 2015, Drew reflected about being raised by her dad John Drew Barrymore, who was an alcoholic, and her mom Jade. Following her parents' divorce, Jade even took a nine-year-old Drew to Studio 54 where she would join in partying. However, Drew's substance abuse became too much to handle and the young actress was eventually placed in an institution. Drew claims she was unable to leave the institution during her stay there. I realized, honestly, yeah, my mom locked me up in an institution. Boo hoo. But it did give an amazing discipline, she told the publication. It was like serious recruitment training and boot camp, and it was horrible and dark and very long lived, a year and a half, but I needed it. I needed that whole insane discipline, 